For the last 14 years, the Red Sox and the Boston Healthcare for the Homeless program have collected more than 125,000 pairs of socks through the Socks for Socks drive. It kicks off this Friday here at Fenway Park. Garen Austin has more. We are now joined with Barry Bach, the CEO of Boston Healthcare for the Homeless, as well as Aaron Bradley. Barry, can you please tell us a little bit more about Boston Healthcare for the Homeless program? Sure. First of all, thank you for having us here today, and special thank you to Aaron and Jackie for all of their support over the years. Boston Healthcare for the Homeless program is a program that's been around since 1985, and we do exactly as our title says. We provide services to people who experience homelessness in Boston, care for about 12,000 unique individuals each year in 45 sites, including the streets of Boston, provide pretty comprehensive primary care and, and mental health and addiction services as well as dentistry, um, and yeah. And Aaron, how did you get involved? So about two years ago, I was given an opportunity to take a tour of their main facility, and I can honestly say that since that day, these people that work for and serve the homeless community here in Boston and that pro their program and their location has forever changed my life. What they do for these people as far as giving them something as small as clean socks all the way up to, like he said, you know, grade A medical care that you would receive in a hospital is just amazing. The different, you know, one end of the spectrum to the next of what they provide for these people is so amazing and they have so many little programs within their their bigger scheme of things and I had the opportunity just a couple weeks ago to um, go back down to their main facility myself and a few of the other Red Sox wives and participate in a program they have called Her Saturday and it's a program just for homeless women here in the city they have it in their lobby of their building on Saturday mornings in the morning times and they provide coffee a snack and we also had a good time playing bingo making jewelry sometimes they have people come and cut the women's hair just really providing a community that makes the women feel safe and feel loved and so it's it's one of those situations where it makes you feel like a better person because you're helping others and really realizing that no one's really exempt from experiencing the kind of pain and hurt that these people experience every day. That sounds like an incredible program. Well, another program you guys have is the Socks for Socks program. Yes. Tell us a little bit about why clean socks are so important for health care for the homeless. Sure. Well, if you can imagine, especially if you're staying out on the streets, um, your feet really get exposed to the elements so you can get your feet wet day in and day out. You can develop what's called immersion foot. You develop even something simple as blisters and that level of discomfort. So thanks to Red Sox Nation, we've collected over 124,000 pairs of socks in the, um, in the past 14 years, which is about a marathon's worth of socks when you lay them end to end. Um, and so it really matters. It's also an opportunity, a very simple way, as Aaron was speaking about, about ways of engaging with, uh, with the women and men and, and families. It's a very simple way of engaging. All right, uh, that'll be this weekend here at Fenway Park, the annual Socks for Socks Drive. You can bring uh, uh, unopened packages of uh, socks here and drop them off when you come to the game. Red Sox and Royals ready to open up their series at Fenway. August is here and baseball's back. Stay with us. Red Sox first pitch live on this and is presented by Joseph